Hey, it's Miles with Selleramp, and in this video, we're gonna do some live sourcing using Selleramp to help you find your first profitable online arbitrage product to sell on Amazon. Make sure to subscribe, check out a free trial link in the description, and let's jump inside my screen and do some sourcing. Here inside my screen, and we're taking a look at great value products to start off. Why are we starting off with great value products? Great value is a Walmart private label brand, so it's actually owned by Walmart, so we know that there's a good chance no one's wholesaling that from Walmart or wherever. So the people selling these products are gonna be other people doing online arbitrage, right? So we can check out and use Selleramp and Keepa to identify what other products these sellers are carrying and then go out and look for those items profitably. So to start out here, we're gonna look for a product that fits uh, the volume criteria as well as just has a decent Keepa chart and shows that people are making money on it, right? So we're gonna open up uh, some of these great value items right here. Let's see if we can do one more, I don't know if this is necessarily great value. So let's check out some of these, right? So come in right here, this one actually has uh, variations. We'll take a look at the Keepa right here on this one just to get going. We can see over on Selleramp right here that there's a 22K rank, so that's top 1% BSR. Estimated sales are 770 right here. Coming down, uh, we can see the BSR is the top 0.2% 0.22%, which is really good right here, as well as um, just scrolling down, obviously private label, unlikely IP analysis, it's great value right here. And we can see a little view of the Keepa. I think that's actually underrated feature of Selleramp uh, hopping in the keep right here, as well as the profit calculator down here that has the FBA, FBM, as well as the small and light, yes, no, for if you run it, ever run into those scenarios. And then obviously the Google Sheets export right here. Scrolling down, we'll take a look at the Keepa right here. We can see the three month chart as well as the year long chart. It's actually pretty stable right here and the competition's been uh, right around here for a while. If we hop in here data and head to offers, we can see uh, if we scroll over here, we can see the first scene filter that top to bottom. We can see clearly some people are replanning this item and that we can see a bunch of people have been on this for a while that also have pretty high review counts right here. So that's a good sign on this. So using Selleramp, we can go and just right click right here into, um, into uh, Google right here and check this out. Eight and five eighths right here. And in. so the, the, the challenge is oftentimes finding you know the right item right here, we can see, and what are we trying to pay on this? We're trying to pay like $10. So like I said, we can find this for $9, you would make 50% ROI. So it's pretty good right there. So we will take a look um, right here. Not quite seeing anything that I think matches uh, the 100 right here. On that 100 right here, five uh, everyday plates. I'll take a look right here. These are the right size, um, nine inch. So this is awful close. Is this the same thing? Eight and a half, eight and a half. Okay, wow. So this is actually uh, the hundred counts. This actually is profitable right here. That's rare to get it on a, on the first chance um, right here. We can see five dollars and eighty six cents right here, and you can see. I assume why a lot of people are getting this wrong is right here. This eight and a half inch is very different, that, or it's it's different than the name right here. So it's like this might not show up in like tactical arbitrage searches, for example, but it does match here. So $5.86. Obviously you want to verify the same thing, but it sure looks like it is um, right here. So that's a good example of an item. And then we also want to then use Selleramp. We'll just go off this listing, I guess, right here. Down here, we can see the competitive sellers and their stock counts. We can see a couple people are, uh, a couple people are merchant fulfilling this. They're probably drop shipping it. Let's see, these guys both have not amazing feedback, this one guy right here. But we can then open up the FBA seller specifically and take a look at what else they're carrying in their uh, in their catalogs right here. So hopping over here, we can check that out and see. Now we're here within Selleramp. This is my favorite way to use the tool, absolutely, and a lot of our users as well. We can see the brands they're carrying as well as the categories they're carrying right here and filter as needed. Me personally, I typically don't like to take the time to look through sellers that have only one review right here and 12 ASINs. Sure, there could potentially be good stuff in here. Like, well, all right, we will look up one item right here. Uh, what's that? Pack up 24 right here, 1.03. See, this might be a little difficult to match up the specific one right here. So it's the like blue, dark blue, green, 1399. Let's check this out. $13.99 and save 35% on the auto ship. I would also, I wouldn't be surprised if there was an additional coupon in here if you, if anyone were to Google that or have Honey installed or anything, but $13.99, 24. This is going to be close right here. I'm on fire this video if this ends up being uh, 
this ends up hitting right here. So $13.99 right here, $13.99. So that's awful close. Yeah, so if there was a way to uh, coupon this, and let's see, I assume this has been profitable at some time. Yeah, look at that Keepa. The off count was way higher and actually went down, but at a 28 sale price, which like, yeah, which is right about what it is now. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's, or it's not good, but with a little coupon and like 35% of your auto ship board if you jacked up a few of those. Interesting, only one. Uh, Oh, ship of ship, not to me. Ah, okay, interesting. So this is maybe an RA lead if you uh, you find that there. We'll keep moving on uh, this. We'll, we'll check out a few of these. There's that first one we initially uh, looked at right here. Rare example of a toy item that Amazon isn't on. Let's check this out. This private label right here. No, there's a bunch of people moving it. Right here, was Amazon ever on it? Interesting. So Amazon was not on it. So let's check that out. We'll hop in Google right here. Uh, Yoda plush, 11 inch. Let's see, never heard of this site right here. I don't know if this is even the right item though. Oh, it looks like it is. All right, interesting. This is actually, and $5 off first order right here. So $14.99, that's close. It's not quite good enough um, right here, especially if you factor in a little bit of sales tax or sh shipping right there. This has been good though in the past. We can see at, uh, in like January there, right then, uh, if this was moving at 40, this would be a great uh, product right here. We'd see the seasonality obviously affects different things right here. We'll keep it moving. Let's hop on to, uh, I guess we're kind of on fire. So we'll take a look at one more product and then we'll keep it moving on to this $13.99. Um, so that seller had one review right here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, what do we need to pay for this? $13.99. So that's close. If there was a coupon, it would make it good. We'll hop on to another. Uh, Another seller right here. All right, here we go. This is an example of a guy who has a ton of ASINs. And if I were you guys watching this, I would probably just end up brand filtering or category filtering specifically on here to find um, any of the other, any potentially other items they were carrying right here. But let's uh, take a look at a few of these. So I'm not personally, my uh, sourcing metrics I like to go off. I won't look up anything Amazon's on. I won't look up anything that has a buy box of under 20 bucks right here. So I'm just going to scroll through and we'll take a look at these. That could be good for the summer right here. Let's see if we can open up a few more of these and we'll check out some other sellers as well. So uh, guys carrying a lot of stuff that's a lower ASP right here. That's average sale price. And I already looked up. Is this the uh, same item, just different bundle count? Interesting. I wonder if there, oh, there is a UPC that matches here. So on this, we want to pay like uh, that's a two pack right there. So that doesn't work. What about, Ooh, four pack right here. Oh, that's close. Oh, fees must be a little bit, uh, this must be large size. I guess that'd make sense with pool filter. So I doubt be able to find these good right here. Uh, let's check this out. All right. These Midwest tools right here, pack up two. These as well had a bunch of sellers on them at one point. Now they're moving down. Looking at the seller amp right here, if we could pay like 30 for these, that'd be really nice right here. And there's no UPC that matches, which that's actually a good sign in terms of just opportunities to source off of. Basically, the when the UPC doesn't match, it typically doesn't show up in automation tools, which is a good opportunity for seller amp users because you can see at a, you know, whether people are caring right here. Let's see. Okay. So we want, not familiar with this brand at all, but we'll take a look right here. Um, so we want to pay in like the $30 range right here. Um, let's see, is there couponable? Is there couponing on here? This is going to be, I mean, a lot to coupon off, which not very confident. 7% Rakuten is really nice though. Um, let's check out if we scroll down right here, 65, that definitely doesn't make sense. We're paying 65. It's moving at a, uh, Zooming at 60, so that does not fit the criteria for what we're looking for. On um, that right here, we'll keep moving. Let's see, we'll pull out one or two more uh, items. That fits uh, pricing criteria, but it's just off. I assume this guy's doing wholesale. He has tons of reviews, so we'll move on. 90, 90 products, 220 reviews. That's actually a lot of reviews per ASIN um, right here. And some different brands have uh, focusing heavily on grocery. Check out like uh, tools could be higher ASP. Actually not on these specific ones. Let's see what he's carrying from the beauty perspective. 19, that's a decent indication. 23, Amazon on it, but not a ton as of late. The rank's too high on that. 
And then we'll take a look at a couple more of these cheaper items just to get a sense. Fifteen sales rank ninety right here. Not loving that. A four pack of these, eight bucks. Doesn't quite match what I'm looking for. Uh, Walgreens oftentimes can have coupons though. 13, 30, 15 off site wide right here. That's close. If uh, off thirty five percent, is there a decent racketin as well? Yeah, two percent. Don't mind it, so that would make it eight minus 15. That still doesn't quite add up, something like 650. Yeah, the ROI is not bad, but the um, doesn't match up in terms of the stuff I'd want for a bundle, basically. So we'll, we'll keep it moving. Let's take a look at a couple more of these. 14, so we want to pay cheap for that. L'Oreal, 580, 513, uh, Lipstick Spice. This actually has a chance on here. Five... Uh, Yeah, assuming this is the right thing, which it uh, sure seems like it's spring coral. Is that the, the color that matches? Possibly no, though. I don't love the rank on this. That's not a bad um, indication right here. Let's take a look at a couple more products. This is actually a really good session so far. Um, take a look. All right, so Shia Terra, never heard of this. Are arbitrage people moving it? Yes, the rank is really low for this level of competition. This might be gated. I'm, I'm not familiar with this brand right here. So we want uh, eight ounce, three point. Well, considering an eight ounce is 14, it actually does kind of bode well for this ending up being good right here. Three, 38, 18, selling for 19. Definitely doesn't work out on that. We'll keep it moving. Right here, we can see Beauty and personal care, groceries, shoes, clothing, jewelry, lots of different stuff for here. I'll take a look at uh, one or two of these items and we will call it a day right here. So this was a really good uh, session. I'm not familiar with Athletic Works. I think that might be a Walmart private label brand as well. Let's check this out. So variation listings. We'll probably do a separate video talking all about this, but you can see you can come down to variations within Keepa and see this one's actually moving at 19, so we want to pay like eight for this which 996, there was a coupon. Walmart doesn't really do coupons. You had tax exempt and uh, maybe, but I don't love that. If this was like 25, then that would definitely make sense right here. But I don't love that, but that was a really good quick indication. We'll take a look at these as well, actually, while we're on a streak right here. So 27, 16, that's close. That's girls though. Um, 16, if they had the white ones on here with coupons, are these women's let's see wow there was no supply on this this is clearly hard to find right here so if you can find these you can definitely make some money um because there's not a lot of supply right here youth yeah not sure where people are getting that but yeah thank you guys for watching uh make sure to get a free trial of seller amp linked in the description and that's some live sourcing how to find your first profitable item using seller amp